Hello, in this video I'm going to discuss multi-tenancy. Currently I'm logged in as the ad administrator, right up there at the very top. If you mouse over that, it says, yep, if I want to log out as admin. So um, currently I have access to everything, all tools, all data. You can see I've got a 225, 22 interfaces, excuse me, that I can look at, I can drill in and run reports. But I want to limit uh, the, the login to the same server to a user that I only want them to see certain things. Not all these tabs up here, only one interface, things like that. So let's get started and I'll explain how to do that. So I'll come in here, the new user is named Mike. And I'm gonna give Mike a default password to get started. He's not gonna be administrator though. I'll start him off with guess and then I'll change that after I put Mike into another group. So I'm gonna save that and uh, set the default settings for Mike. Uh, default report uh, type when I trend it is a step. Uh, default report, top interfaces when they look at the um, status, do I want them to see the uh, dashboard when they log in or maybe the status tab. Um, whoops. And uh, top 10 by default, they can see all of it, but top 10 is plenty. Uh, DNS to, on the IP addresses, that's fine. Retro colors, user's going to change that as soon as they log in anyway. Time zone is automatic to their browser. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's go create the group that Mike's going to be a member of. And we're going to call this group uh, an ABC. ABC. And his member of guests. So uh, guests, come down here at the bottom, ABC. Go to the settings and what do I want? What tabs along the top here do I want this user to have access to? Dashboard maps and status tab is fine. No alarms, no help tab, and none of these administrative functions either. So I'm going to take those away. And then I'm going to go to the device uh, status. And I really don't want Mike having access to everything. So I think I'm just going to allow Mike to see maybe one device. And that would be my, um, oh, let's see here. This Palo Alto will allow him to see what's going on, if it's green or red or whatever. So I added that. And let's go to interface. And on the Palo Alto, let's say, I definitely don't want them to have access to all interfaces again. So just type in a quick filter here to get to the interface I want them to see. That interface right there is fine. I could give them access to multiple interfaces if I want. Uh, device groups. Do I want this user to have access to all groups? No. Uh, I'll let them see the uh, campus map, but they're only going to see that one uh, uh, one device when I set up device status. There's only one device, even though there might be 10 in campus. So, um, And saved reports. I'm not going to let them have access to all saved reports either. Dashboard gadgets. Yeah, they got to be able to have a, you know one gadget or maybe several gadgets, and we ship with some by default. So I'm going to remove a bunch of them, just give them access to one. Uh, customers can add more. Um, and of course the members, well, we got to make Mike a member, so we'll move Mike over there. And that's it. So I think I've got everything pretty well set up. Let's go back to Mike, though. I want to take him out of the uh, guest right group. He doesn't need to be a member of that. Oops, excuse me. Let's go back to Mike guest drag them over there and close that so let's log out and log back in right up there log back in is Mike so what's my theme gonna be do I want this uh, default one as the admin let's let's do something a little bit different let's go with teal and we'll go with a retro uh, modern color scheme when we trend things uh, so next on that don't forget, a little message there. I'm done. Um, and now I'm logged in. And you can see that uh, the example dashboards that are enabled by default, there's only one gadget in there because that's all I gave him access to. And that one interface, instance three, on the uh, Palo Alto device. Maps, I can see my one map, but only one device in there. So I really can't do much. Uh, in the status tab, um, they can run a report on that one, my default report. And uh, don't let that that caching of the color bother you. Just going to control F5, clear that out. And there you go. So that'll take care of that. Go back to the admin tab. 
if I decide Mike's like, hey, really don't like that dark three theme. That's a little bit too crazy for me. Uh, let's go back and maybe go from that to um, maybe uh, the Gigamon theme, if that's what they like, and close that. Now they're looking at a different theme. So if I log out, log back in. Now I want to go back as administrator. Of course, i got to type in the password correctly. And if you want to know what that map looked like, that campus map, uh, that's right here. So you can see that I only gave Mike access to that one icon, doesn't see the rest of the map, status tab, uh, all these interfaces because I'm the administrator, dashboard, I see I have a much more um, uh, de detailed dashboard, dashboard with a lot more options. And if I log back in, and log back in as Mike, you can see I'm going to have a different theme, different gadgets, very limited on, on the map, only one interface that I can drill into, and that's pretty much how the multi-tenancy works. If you're looking for something else, you'd like it, tweak it a little bit, no big deal. Just give us a call and we'll, and, uh, we'll help you get it working. Thanks.